Hi, in this video, we're going to talk about the macro controls available to us in ES2. So a macro control is basically like a global control for similar or multiple parameters within ES2. To give you an example, let's say I'm using two filters. Bring the blend into the middle. And this one is set to high pass. And this one is stuck at low pass. I'm going to turn that to a high frequency, that's at low frequency. And it's effectively letting the band between them through, because one's a low pass, one's a high pass. And let's say that later on in my sound designing, I decided that I want to turn both of them down by the same amount or turn them both up by the same amount. The easiest way to do that is to use the cutoff macro here. So if I turn that up, just have a look at the two cutoffs over there. As I turn it up, they both turn up. As I turn it down, they both turn down. Okay, so I just control multiple cutoffs using the cutoff macro. I can do the same for release times. If I wanted all of my release times to be longer, because they're pretty short right now, I can just turn up the release macro and it turns up the release on each and all of the envelopes that have a release control. And obviously I can do that the same for attack. You can also choose to switch to macro only. So you're just looking at the macro controls if you wanted to do that. And that's how you use macro controls in ES2. See you in the next video.